So left hand one was your before. As we can see it set up, your hands are certainly nearer your trail leg. They're nearer your back leg there than they are your front leg. Putting your hands too far behind the ball, which like I say, I think came from you hitting a few shots. It's in the ground behind the ball. This time of year, a definite no-no. And that ball's moved back in the stance sort of progressively over a period of two, three, four, five weeks, or whatever it may be, within a time frame from when the ground has got soft enough. And it kind of creeps up on us. We play sort of quite a lot of golf this year in a nice dry condition. The course has been good nick. And if you hit the ground a bit behind the ball in sort of August, certainly September, towards the end of September, maybe early October, it's still all right. Now we get to the end of October, November, that ground is it's very saturated and soft. You catch the ground a bit early. <laughs> It goes nowhere. There's no run on the ball now. The course is going to be playing that much longer. It's a struggle, isn't it? Okay. So the little riddle that we said there, we're going to start off. No, no, no. Left hand, left hip. Okay. So your left hand's by your left hip here. So the hand now is pushed forward. And what you can see there from the setter, shoulder, elbow, hand, club, pretty much in a straight line. Okay. So left hand, left hip, shoulder, tip. So this shoulder now is just going to go down a little bit. Okay, to get that right hand on the golf club there. So that sort of shoulder dip there, you can see the right shoulder dropping down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that gets your right hand on the golf club with now the baseball grip or hammer grip that you're comfortable with. Okay, so left hand, left hip, shoulder dip, right hand grip, and then you just set your feet apart there now. So when the club eventually kind of gets there, as a little checkpoint, you can almost see yourself almost wanting to move it back a little bit. There's all wobbling it a little bit. Trying to, I want to go back. But as your kind of checkpoint, looking at your right eye, you can see the club now is going to be back of your left hand on the inside of your foot. Mm. Whereas if we do it from this one here now, there'd be daylight there between your hands and the grip there. Okay, yeah. so just getting those hands slightly further forward just gets you in a more, I suppose, efficient position to swing the golf club. Again, back swing and turn now, really, really good. Coming back to the golf ball, lovely strike. Much more width through the golf ball than we've had in the past where your hands are literally kind of, there's no daylight between your hands and your torso. Yeah. Yes, if I'm being honest, there's a little bit in there to be more than you want to, but it's certainly progressing further away and then through to a nice follow through there, balance on your left side. But if we can get into that sequence now at setup, there's not a lot that can go really that wrong. There's no adjustments to be made. That's the key thing. So left hand, left hip, shoulder dip, right hand grip, and then give it a rip as we said yeah <laughs> just get yourself set up and it, it, it just takes away some of the, the guessing i think with the, with the golf shot yeah. you can swing through to a nice full follow through a couple of those shots you hit there was certainly high the one that was 23 feet up in the air that is really getting that ball up here it's going to carry a lot further mm. if the ball's carrying this time of year a golf ball in the in the summer that was sort of land here oh, sorry, land here and go doink and, go do -do 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 and just run down the fairway a ball now in the winter that lands kind of here is going to stay there. Mm. So if we can carry it this way and land softer, that's going to go further in the winter. Now the summertime, a ball landing back here, this way might end up going further. But this time of year now, we just want to get that ball going in the air. Yeah. So sometimes a more lofted club actually might get you more distance mm. because you'll get more height, more flight, more distance, and the ball's not going to run anyway. So yeah, that's potentially right. using a six fairway wood yeah. might actually give you more yardage yeah. than going the four or the five or even the three wood that's going to sort of knuckle ball. And then just fall out the sky and, and hit the ground. Yeah. In the winter, I've sometimes decided to carry, mm. um, and then I've never to decide what to take. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I would take about... out the four and the five potentially, yeah. Yeah. unless there's a couple of par threes that you tend to use them on off a tee peg. Yeah. So maybe the second That's on the button. Thing. Yeah. Um, maybe some of the par threes they might be the fourth on the Mac, the Mac yeah. yeah so yeah. that's another option so I mean yeah. one club's not going to be excessive maybe if, you're gonna, if you take out the five maybe not, keep the four and the six yeah. um, and then you can at least yeah. shrink your bag down in half right? yeah. okay so yeah. get in that position that is, yeah. what you're looking for is that sort of lowercase white address like I say hands could go a smidgen further forward there but it's that lowercase y there not the capital y that you had kind of yeah. everything in the middle there and again your hands sort of pushing backwards a little bit yeah. behind the ball if anything so That's great. good stuff very very good well done